here for another installment for our roofing university today we're actually under the roof inside the home going to talk about some things that have to do with energy conservation so let's take a look so we're in a newer home here um, we can see up in the top there that is the area for the shingle over ridge vent on this roof it's a gable roof system and there's some more over there in the main vent and we can see the insulation in the attics blown pretty full there it's blown to about an R38 which is standard for most homes today and for a blown fiberglass insulation that means approximately about 15 inches deep roughly 14 to 15 inches meanwhile up against the plywood here uh, on the on a day like today where it's 88 degrees the roof surface temperature reaches about 140 or so the shingles do and it it transmits that heat into your attic space gets hot in your attic um, so by emitting that heat into this space so therefore this space has the hot air the insulation separates your air conditioning area from that however what's more important are these pipes this is a main trunk line from that air handling unit over there that's carrying the air out to the bedrooms and the other rooms in the front and you see the other um, pipes there that are carrying the the cold air out into the house so what happens is the hot air infiltrates this space and while you have an R38 on your uh, ceiling there that's separating you from the heat those pipes only have about an R6 to an R9 wrapped around them so the heat infiltrates the pipe and sometimes you'll notice this on a really hot day the air conditioning cuts on and the first thing you smell or feel is warm air coming out and the longer that line is the more warm air it's pumping into your house before the cold air can get in there and then you have to, your uh, return air has to exchange that hot air back out. So what we recommend in one of these spaces is possibly like a solar powered attic vent that would be up top to pull the hot air out of here and keep it closer to ambient temperature in this space. That way you don't have that problem in your trunk lines there. You won't get that hot air trapped in there. All right. Thanks a lot.